Hi, my name is Octay. Welcome to today's video about Earth, Moon, uh, Luna. This is a nice uh, animation of the uh, Moon. How it would look like if it were orbited. The uh, size of the Moon is uh, 3475 kilometers. That makes it uh, number 5 in size in the solar system. Only 3 of the 4 Galilean moons of Jupiter and the Saturn moon, uh, moon uh, Titan are bigger than our Moon. The uh, moon is at a distance of 384,400 kilometers and has a mass of 1.2% of Earth's mass. Orbital period is 27 days, orbital speed is 1 km per second. And there's a 1 to 1 orbital spin resonance, which means the um, moon is tidally locked to the Earth. So from the Earth we, can, we always see uh, one face of one side of the moon. But since the orbit of the Moon is uh, slightly eccentric, we can see more than 50% of the surface, we can see 59% uh, from Earth. This is a comparison of, um, of the Moon and the Earth. The moon has about one quarter of the size of Earth. Um, this is enough to stabilize the uh, rotation axis of planet Earth. And the Moon moves away from the Earth um, by 4 cm every year which means the rotation of planet Earth is slowing down. This is a nice uh, movie of the Apollo 16 mission, of the lunar rover. It is driven by astronaut uh, John W. Young, and you can see sprays of dust. This is a sample, the lunar olivine basalt sample which is magnesium iron silicate from the Apollo 15 mission. There's a total of 381 kilograms of uh, material that was collected by six Apollo missions. Uh, how was the system of Earth and Moon uh, formed? There are uh, two possibilities. Uh, number one, um, planet Earth has caught uh, the Moon. Or number two, impact. And the a way to find the answer is um, isotope analysis of these samples and compare it to samples from Earth's crust. And this is the answer how the system was formed. That's by a collision of a Mars-sized planet, Saya, with Earth 4.5 billion years ago. This was a side impact. And this impact added uh, weight to planet Earth. And from the debris, the uh, Moon was formed. There's one important uh, feature of the Moon, uh, its tidal force, which moves the water masses. You have high tide and uh, low tide. And this is very uh, important for life because it facilitates biochemical reactions. There's a, another tidal force that's from the Sun, but its tidal force is weaker. This is how Earth would look like if you looked at it uh, from the surface of the Moon. Earth slowly disappearing in the shadow of the Moon. This is the near side of the Moon and you can see these dark areas, they are called Luna Maria, they make 70% of the surface. These are dark volcanic basins. They are products of asteroid impacts, they were then covered with lava. And most of the Luna Maria are on the near side. The second feature of the Moon are the craters. This is a map uh, with uh, some of the areas of the Moon. For example, um, Mare Tranquillitatis, Sea of Tranquility, Mare Serenitatis, Sea of Serenity, and this big Mare, that's Oceanus Procellarum, Ocean of Storms. Uh, crater Tycho. 
Das ist der Mare Serenitatis, uh, Sea of Serenity, also size of 674 kilometers. And in the 17th century, people believed that these Mare were oceans. And you can see there are very few craters inside. This means that the Mare are not the oldest feature on the surface. Uh, this Mare has an age of 3.1 to 3.8 billion years. There's another surface feature of Mare Tranquillitatis, um, Sea of Tranquility. This is 876 kilometers. This was the landing site of the Apollo 11 mission uh, with the astronauts Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins. This is a picture of, from the Sea of Tranquility of uh, Buzz Aldrin saluting the flag, US flag, on July 20th in 1969. This is the reflector from the Apollo 11 mission. These are uh, laser measurements for uh, the distance of Earth's moon. And uh, these measurements show that the uh, moon is uh, slowly moving away from us by 4 centimeters per year. This is a bus Aldrin at the Tranquility Base uh, from the Apollo 11 mission. That's the lunar module Eagle. And in the foreground you can see uh, the passive seismic experiment package. These are IMPs, the irregular Mare patches in the Sea of Tranquility. They have a size of about 500 meters. They, the volcanic activity of uh, the moon lasted from 3.5 billion years ago to 1 billion years ago. But this IMP irregular Mare patches are less than 100 million years old. This is the Tycho crater. It is named after the um, astronomer Tycho Brahe. It is located in the southern region of the near side, has a size of 85 kilometers. And the central peaks are, have a height of up to 1.6 kilometers. The age of this crater is 108 million years. This is the far side of the moon. Um, in the southern hemisphere, there is the South Pole Aitken Basin with a size of 2,500 kilometers here. Dark structure. Uh, the depth of this structure is 6 to 8 kilometers and this age is 4.2 to 4.3 billion years. This is the Mare Moscoviense, here of Moscow also on the far side, uh, has a size of 276 kilometers. There's a mass concentration in the center and uh, this uh, Mare is a gravity anomaly. Uh, this image was taken from the Apollo 13 mission. This is the internal structure of the moon. You can see the crust, uh, the rocky mantle and the iron core. Iron core is surrounded by a partially molten zone. This is an interesting concept of a lunar crater radio telescope on the far side. And in the, the bottom you can see the advantage of this uh, construction. Uh, you would avoid uh, the noise from the Earth. This is a nice uh, picture of the full moon from the Space Shuttle's Discovery, picture from the uh, year 1999. This is a nice picture of Harrison uh, Schmidt, the Apollo 17 mission standing next to a huge split boulder, images from 1972. This is a great uh, movie of uh, John Wetz Young's uh, Jumping Salute. He was a member of the Apollo 16 mission from 1972. The uh, moon has just one-sixth of Earth's gravity. And this is a nice Apollo 15 uh, lift-off movie from the moon in 1971. Stage, engine Automatic. 
This was a big inspiration uh, moment for humanity. And yeah, this was a, a great accomplishment of humanity. humanity. That was today's video about Earth's um, moon. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.